what's theirs. It's George Blanda and Warren Moon proving they belong. Now the Texans battle for what they fought so hard to take back. These are the Texans. In San Francisco, gold is more than a color. It's a standard. It's the brilliant chemistry of Washington, Montana. To Steve Young ripping the monkey off his back. To chase Jerry up that hill. These are the 49ers. Candlestick Park, a stadium that has housed numerous championship teams, plays host for this matchup between the Houston Texans and the San Francisco 49ers. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sim. Just prior to kickoff for this primetime extravaganza, and this adds another whole layer of excitement have this game under the lights. Yeah, it makes it more exciting for the fans. It builds up their enthusiasm because they're out there uh, tailgating all day, getting ready for the game, but also for the players. They lay around no matter what you do during the day. All you can think about is the game. How's it going to work out for us? So I think we're going to see a lot of excitement because of that. Kickoff is about to commence. Let's send you down to the field. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. Kaepernick's heading out now. He'll, of course, be leading this offense today. Well, I know Colin Kaepernick quite a lot of people with this play during the playoffs last year making so many dynamic throws down the field and some exceptional runs too now first and ten Gore is gonna take the handoff now and they bring him down at the 33 yard line Frank Gore is the 49ers all-time leading rusher it's amazing when you look at Frank Gore he's had so many injuries in his college and pro career and still has the speed and the moves and the power to get it done in the game. And Manningham's gonna get set in the slot for this snap. To the ground here. Games 14. Boy, Frank Gore over the years has taken a lot of punishment from the running back position, the knee injuries, shoulder injuries, but he's still got the great speed and good lateral movement to get big yards. First down here after the run. He'll fire it out to the left. The 49ers now move the chains. So with that play, they move into enemy territory and driving here early stages. Well, look, I I'm going to blame the defense. They're being so passive. you got to go out there and take some chances. If you don't, this offense is going to keep marching down the field. First down here after the completion. And the give to Frank Gore. He'll go to the left. That tackle was made at the 27-yard line. Frank Gore was one of the big reasons why the San Francisco 49ers went to the Super Bowl last year. Just finds a way to pick up big yards. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Kaepernick standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Well, I think early in the game, anytime you cross the 50-yard line, it just gives you confidence that what you're doing is going to work today. Let's see if they can take advantage of that and take it on down into the end zone. McDonald's usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. It's a second and four. Gore taking ball is out. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. 
Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty a touchdown. And the defense will use one of its timeouts right here. What a play. Snickers is the proud sponsor of this satisfying defensive replay. When hunger hits, Snickers satisfies. Anytime you're on the offensive side and you fumble and the defense picks it up and takes it for a long touchdown, wow, that is hard to overcome. So what a job by the defense. Very opportunistic. Take advantage of those situations when they come up. The Texans line up now for the point after. Inside of the uprights. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Texans with two extra defensive backs in the dime. First and ten. They'll run it off the toss. Ryan Cushing puts it into that play. What a job that time by the offensive line. That hole was so big, he could have drove a car through it. The running back hit it full speed, and that allowed him to get down the field and get that long run. The 49ers in the pistol. Kaepernick's back in shotgun formation. J.J. Watt rushes the quarterback. A player to watch on this Houston defense is cornerback Jonathan Joseph. Jonathan Joseph loves to play man-to-man -man coverage, and he's not afraid to take a chance. So if the opportunity is there, he'll get the interception for the defense. Jenkins is a receiver in the slot. This is a screenplay all the way. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator. A little screen pass to the halfback. He knew the defensive line was going to be charging hard. They were, and it picked up some nice yards. The 49ers will approach this play from out of the pistol. First and 10. Trying to find an open man. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. First down here. Looks to his left. That ball has been picked off. The man who directs the Texans attack. Quarterback Matt Schaub. Matt Schaub, one of those under the radar quarterbacks in the NFL. Last year he led the Texans to the playoffs. Well, what they want down here in Houston is a run at the Super Bowl. Offense lines up here. First down and 10. Foster. He's into the open. Gains 11. Well, when you try to tackle this guy, his legs are the size of a refrigerator, so hard to wrap him up. That's why he picked up the big game. Johnson's lined up now as a slot receiver. Now first and ten. And the quarterback gives it to Arian Foster. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. 
He's been one of Matt Schaub's favorite targets for years. Tight end, Owen Daniels. Good hands, sneaky speed, good blocker at the end of line of scrimmage. Owen Daniels, one of the better tight ends in the NFL. This starting lineup is brought to you by Snickers. When hunger hits, Snickers satisfies. Off the mark. Taking a look at the defensive lineup. Dante Whitner, a player to watch today. So aggressive when you watch him out here in San Francisco. Attacks the line of scrimmage, makes those tackles, and fast enough and mobile enough like a corner to cover whoever's coming down the field his way. The offense needs two yards here on third down following the incompletion. And that'll gain just a few yards. When you talk about the play action pass game, it's really when you call it. You got to be in a situation where the defense is thinking run. And when they are, do you have the courage or I should say the smarts to fake the run and throw the football? Good call that time by the offense. They've got a first down now after that catch. Here's the handoff to Arian Foster. It's Navarro Bowman who brings him down. Always good to have these types of runs. Hey, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Foster's taking the handoff. They've got him down there. Well, when you're in a situation like this, it's always good to run a draw play because you want to get it to a makeable third down situation where it's not too hard on the offensive line or the quarterback. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Matt Schaub from the shotgun reaches out and snatches it. Nice catch by the receiver, but it still doesn't get a first down. Arian Foster lined up in the backfield. Foster's got it on the handoff. Well, that's just a good old physical run by the offense there, and it's good for a few yards and gets him another first down. Offense now in the red zone. Johnson's lined up in the slot, staying with the running game on first down. Houston across for the touchdown. That was a nice job that time by the offense driving down for the touchdown to increase their lead. That really takes a lot of pressure off their defense. The Texans with an extra point try on the way. Add the extra point, the kick is good. Texans getting ready to kick it away. Throws the stiff arm. And the return ends after a run back of about 22. They face first down. Eyeing that left side. Tackles made. You can't play zone coverage against this quarterback. He knows it's zone, and he's going to find the open throwing lane, and he gets it done. That wraps up the first quarter.